morning class 8 welcome back to your biology classroom once again today i will discuss heartbeat and cardiac cycle so look at your book all the heart muscles do not contract at the same time the auricles contract first forcing the blood into the ventricles a fraction of second later the ventricles contract to push the blood into the pulmonary arteries and the aorta so actually what is happening all the muscles are not contract at the same time basically auricles contract first and push the blood into ventricles then ventricle contract and push the blood into pulmonary arteries and aorta then the auricles relax and blood flows into them from the pulmonary veins and vena cava so when auricles relax then the pulmonary veins and vena cava from there auricles receive the blood by this time the ventricles have also emptied and whole heart is relaxed so when auricles receive the blood from pulmonary veins and vena cava this time ventricles is also relaxed so this is referred to the heartbeat the sequence of event which take place during one complete heartbeat is also known as cardiac cycles so basically heartbeat it is happening through a complete sequence this complete heartbeat is also known as cardiac cycle it involves repeated contraction and relaxation of heart muscle so what is what is cardiac cycle cardiac cycle involves complete contraction and relaxation of heart muscle a contraction is termed as a systole and relaxation is termed as diastole so the contraction of heart muscle is also known as systole and the relaxation of heart muscle that is also known as diastole one complete heartbeat or cardiac cycle consists of one systole and one diastole it lasts for about 0.8 second each heartbeat is hard as to sound the contraction of auricles make one weak sound and it is followed by a stronger sound caused by the contraction of ventricle so what is the difference basically in the heartbeat we can hear two sound दो साउंड हमको सुनाई देगा फर्स्ट ऑफ ऑल द कॉन्ट्रेक्शन ऑफ आर्टरीज व्हिच एक्चुअली मेक्स अ वीकर साउंड एंड द कॉन्ट्रेक्शन ऑफ वेंट्रिकल मेक्स अ स्ट्रोंगर स्ट्रोंगर साउंड दिस टू साउंड्स मेक्स अ कंप्लीट हार्ट बीट द डॉक्टर यूजेस स्टेथोस्कोप टू लिसन दिस टू पार्ट हार्ट बीट ए नॉर्मल हार्ट ऑन एवरेज बीट 72 टाइम्स पर मिनट तो द नॉर्मल हार्ट बीट पर मिनट में कितना होता है सेवेंटी टू टाइम्स तो स्टूडेंट यू विल लर्न फ्रॉम दिस पोर्शन व्हाट इज हार्ट बीट एंड व्हाट इज कार्डियक साइकिल अगेन व्हाट इज सिस्टोल एंड व्हाट इज डायस्टोल द कॉम्प्लीट हार्ट बीट इन ए मिनट एंड व्हाट इज द नेम ऑफ द मेसिन बाय व्हिच वी कैन लिसन द हार्ट बीट दैट इज स्टेथोस्कोप नेक्स्ट पाल्स व्हेन लेफ्ट वेंट्रिकल कॉन्ट्रैक्ट्स ब्लड मूव्स इनटू द आर्टरीज अंडर हाई प्रेशर the wall of arteries get stretched by the this pressure as this ventricle relax the pressure comes down the stretching and relaxing of arteries with each heart beat is felt as a throbbing called pulse so the stretching and relaxing of arteries of each heart beat matlab har heart beat ke sath stretching and relaxing of arteries that is also known as pulse your pulse is the rate at which your heart beats it is easy to feel the pulse at the side of the neck or the wrist near the base of the thumb in a healthy adult it is about 70 to 75 times per minute so what is pulse pulse is the stretching and relaxing of arteries into a throbbing in a systematic order that is also known as pulse it is as usual equal to the heart beat that's why it is in a healthy person it is 70 to 75 times next blood pressure the heart must exert pressure to the push blood through the blood vessels the force of blood exerted against the arterial walls by the heart is called blood pressure so normally heart se normally auricles and ventricle mein blood push karne ke liye ek force ki zarurat hota hai so by which kind of force applied by heart to push the blood into auricles that is also known as blood pressure so heart ek pressure create karta hai arteries ke andar blood ko dhakelne ke liye 
So, which kind of force is exerted by the heart in the inner wall of arteries? That is also known as blood pressure. Very important portion. It varies from one part the body to another and has two limits, upper and lower limit. The average pressure produced in the ventricles when they contract and pump blood into the aorta and pulmonary artery is called systolic pressure. So, the average pressure produced in the ventricles when they contract and pump blood into the aorta and pulmonary arteries. So, ventricle normally, jab aorta or pulmonary artery ke andar blood ko dhakel raha hai, tab jab pressure create ho raha hai, usko hum bolenge systolic pressure. It is also known as upper limit. It is equal to the pressure exerted by a column of 120 mm Hg. The full form of mm Hg is also important. Millimeters of mercury. So, what is systolic pressure? Try to understand. Ventricles, jab khud ko contract karke blood ko pulmonary artery or aorta ke andar push kar raha hai. Tab jab pressure create ho raha hai, usko hum bolenge systolic pressure. The limit of Systolic pressure is 120 mm Hg. The average pressure produced when the ventricles get filled with blood from the auricles is called diastolic pressure. So, when the ventricle relax, relaxes, relax when the auricles se blood receive kar hai, tab jab pressure create hai, tab jab usko kya bolenge? diastolic pressure. That is also known as lower limit. It is about 80 mm Hg. Blood pressure is measured with a sphygmo manometer. So, name of the machine by which we can also measure the heart pressure, sorry, blood pressure, that is also known as sphygmo manometer. The normal value of blood pressure is an adult is considered to be 120 by 80 mm Hg. It varies from person to person and is affected by the age, sex, health of the person. So, blood pressure basically vary due to the age sex and health of the person. Next, abnormal functioning of heart. Sometimes due to the, some defects in the structural components of the heart or blood vessels, due to the, uh, <clears throat> the heart shows abnormalities or abnormal function, some of these are around the follows. So, some defect are occurred in the function of heart by the structural components of the heart or blood vessels. These are palpitation. Palpitation makes a person feel as if his heart is beating too fast. Skipping or beat or fluttering. Matlab, lag raha hai ke hum ka heart baut jaldi fast. Matlab, beating ho raha hai. The person may notice heart palpitation in the chest, throat or neck. Palpitation is usually caused by the anxiety or some more coronary heart disease. This may also cause due to the effect of some medicine. So, what is the reason for palpitation? Palpitation is occurred due to the great anxiety or coronary heart disease and also intake the high dose medicine. Agar hum log anxiety matlab great tension mein rahenge ya we, missing, <coughs> we are facing coronary heart disease either we are taking some high dose medicine then we can face the palpitation. Next, cardiac arrest. Sometimes the heart suddenly stops contracting. This happens because of the narrowing of the blood vessels. If blood vessels can blockage, then normally heart beat karna stop. Kar deta hai. This occurs especially in the coronary arteries due to the decomposition of cholesterol and calcium on their inner wall. As a result, there is no or less supply of blood to the heart and the heart stops beating. So, what is the main reason for cardiac arrest? Cardiac arrest is occur due to the decomposition of cholesterol and calcium in the inner wall of the blood vessels. As a result, there is no or less supply of blood to the heart. Next, hypertension. High blood pressure. Sometimes there is contraction of auricles, sorry, arterioles. This creates difficulty into the flow of blood. It is called high blood pressure or hypertension. Hypertension increases the risk of heart disease, kidney disease, diabetes and blindness. So, what is the effect of hypertension? By the hypertension, we can face the heart disease, kidney disease, diabetes and blindness. Nowadays, an increasing number of people have higher than normal values of blood pressure. Next, blood groups and blood transfusion. Sometimes, 
due to some injury or major surgery or certain illness. There can be a heavy loss of blood from the body. This blood loss is made up of the transferring blood from a healthy person. This process by which blood is transferred from one person to another is called blood transfusion. So what is blood transfusion? Blood transfusion is a biological process by which we can transfer the blood from healthy person to an injured. This process is also known as blood transfusion. However, blood cannot be transfused without matching the blood type of the donor and the recipient. Depending on the presence of the proteins called antigen and antibodies, the human blood is classified into four groups and RH, RH positive and RH negative. So that due to the presence of antigen and antibody, our human blood is basically four types and also RH positive and RH negative. ABO blood groups. Antigens are proteins present on the surface of RBCs while antibodies are present in the plasma. So, these two words are antigen and antibodies are very important. Antigens are protein present on the surface of RBC while antibodies are present in the plasma. There are two types of antigen A and B and two types of antibodies A and B. Based on the presence or absence of specific antigens, the human blood is classified into four groups, namely A, B, A, B and O. Blood group A has antigen A and antibody B. Blood group B has antigen B and antibody A. Blood group AB has both antigens but no antibodies. A blood group O has neither antigen A nor B but both antibodies A and B. The antigens and antibodies work against each other. When blood containing opposite antigen is transfused in the body of a person, the antibodies of the recipient will attack with donated blood and cause clumping. मतलब एंटीबॉडी और एंटीजन अगर मैच नहीं होता है दे अटैच ईच अदर बाय द रीजन ब्लड बेसिकली कॉज क्लैम्पिंग दिस मे कॉज ब्लड इंफेक्शन एंड इवन डेथ देयरफॉर ब्लड ट्रांसफ्यूजन इज डन बाय वेरी केयरफुली बाय मैचिंग द ब्लड ग्रुप्स ऑफ द डोनर एंड द रेसिपेंट लुक एट द टेबल ब्लड ग्रुप ए antigen A, antibody B can donate the blood to A and AB, can receive blood from A and O. Same way B ka antigen hoga B, antibody hoga A, can donate blood B and AB, can receive blood B and O. AB ka antigen A and B, antibody koi bhi nahi hai, so can donate blood to AB only and can receive blood from AB, A, B and O. And O, एंटीजन कोई भी नहीं है एंटीबॉडी ए एंड बी कैन डोनेट ब्लड ए बी ओ एंड ए बी कैन रिसीव ऑनली ओ ब्लड ग्रुप ओ इज कॉल्ड यूनिवर्सल डोनर सिंस इट कैन बी गिवन टू ए पर्सन विथ एनी ब्लड ग्रुप ब्लड ग्रुप ए बी इज कॉल्ड द यूनिवर्सल रेसिपेंट सिंस इट कैन रिसीव ब्लड फ्रॉम द पर्सन विथ एनी ब्लड ग्रुप as because there is no antigen present inside o that's why it can donate the blood from all four groups that's why o is also known as universal donor and ab receive the blood from each group that's why it is also known as universal recipient now resource factor or rh factor Another antigen called the Rh factor is found on the surface of RBC. It was first discovered in the research monkey. About 85% people have the Rh factor. They are said to be Rh positive. मतलब जिन लोगों का शरीर में Rh factor present है उसको हम बोलेंगे Rh positive. The rest 15% do not have it. They are said to be Rh negative. So basically Rh factor if there is present inside our blood ब्लड तो हम उसको बोलेंगे आर एच पॉजिटिव अगर नहीं रहता है तो उसको हम बोलेंगे आर एच नेगेटिव होन आर एच पॉजिटिव ब्लड इज ट्रांसफ्यूड इन टू आर एच नेगेटिव पर्सन 
द रेसिपेंट फॉर्म्स एंटीबॉडीज अगेंस्ट द आर एच फैक्टर मतलब अगर आर एच पॉजिटिव ब्लड को आर एच नेगेटिव के ब्लड में हम लोग डाल देते हैं तो तुरंत एंटीबॉडीज पैदा होगा अगेंस्ट आर एच फैक्टर हाउ एवर नो कॉम्प्लिकेशन ऑकर्ड आफ्टर द फर्स्ट ट्रांसफ्यूशन एज आर एच एंटीबॉडीज आर शॉर्ट लिव्ड इन केस ऑफ द सेकेंड ट्रांसफ्यूशन ऑफ आर एच पॉजिटिव ब्लड After a short period, the recipient antibodies will attack the transfused blood and cause problem. और अब अगर first process में हम लोग आर एच positive blood को आर एच negative के blood मतलब शरीर में घुसा देंगे तो पहले बार के लिए कुछ problem नहीं होगा Second time जो antibody पैदा किया already antibody आर एच पॉजिटिव फैक्टर को अटैक करेगा और प्रॉब्लम क्रिएट होगा दस बिफोर ब्लड ट्रांसफ्यूशन द ब्लड ग्रुप्स ऑफ डोनर्स एंड रेसिपेंट एज वेल एज देयर आर एच फैक्टर हैव टू बी अ मैच प्रिवेंट कॉम्पलिंग ऑफ द आर बी सीज सो तो सिर्फ ब्लड ग्रुप के नहीं उसी के साथ आर एच पॉजिटिव और नेगेटिव के फैक्टर के साथ भी मैचिंग करने के बाद ही ब्लड ट्रांसफ्यूशन होता है एंड आर एच पर्सन कैन डोनेट ब्लड टू आर एच पॉजिटिव पर्सन ऑफ कॉम्पिटेबल ब्लड ग्रुप बट नॉट रिसीव ब्लड फ्रॉम आर एच पर्सन सो स्टूडेंट होप ऑल ऑफ यू अंडरस्टूड वट आर डिस्कस इन दिस वीडियो सो फॉर टूडे आफ्टर दिस पोर्शन